Welcome, my dear students. This is your instructor, teacher, Dr. Osama Kashwa, Dr. Osama Kashwa, and this is a new uh, uh, practical, practical uh, teaching and the news of the Excel in the commercial or commercial or business application. And today we are going to handle another topic, which is very important. We will talk about the median. The median is the number which is in the middle, even from the name median and middle, the number which in the middle of the chain. But we have first to uh, put them in the order uh, ascending or descending means, as example in this series, it will be 100, then 140, then 150, then 170, then 200, then 220, and 200, we will arrange them ascending like this. Then we'll choose the value which is in the middle of the chain. This will be the uh, median. But we are lucky because we have the Excel that will help us to do this uh, process without any effort. Let me show you how this will work. Let me show you how this will work now. Uh, if we say as example, we need a new spreadsheet and I have here already and I will tell you down Calculate the median of the wages in this factory or in this company. The median of the wages in this factory. Uh, I will start first the wages in this factory. I will start with calculate the median of each department each department then we'll do back calculate the median uh, calculate the median in this factory control and c and here we'll say can control and v calculate this is number one in our topic this is the number one required and this is the number two and of course those are wages those are wages as example for each department in the company. Like as example, the produ production department, the wages for months January was 100 for one of person who was working. In February, it was 140. In March, it was 150 and so on. In April, 220. In May, 230. In June, 300. July, it's right till the end. Same thing for the marketing department. It was the wages in January was in the average about 200, 400 for February and March 500 and so on. All we need to get now is because our, our class today is about how to calculate the median, the median. So we are going to calculate the median using Excel. Okay. The first thing is I will go as I saw you before, as I taught you before, we will go on to Microsoft Office and Office. Then here we go. First of all, I did already have a table here and I said this uh, process before, how can I do it? I will take a copy from here. Then I will go into Excel spreadsheet. Then I will say paste special, paste special, it's fine. Then from here, I will choose H HTML, HTML, that's fine. Here we go, here we go. We had now, and each one of them, as example, this is the active cell now, because here's highlighting in almost uh, orange color, and those are also highlighting. So when we stand on any cell, like I, told, I, I, I showed you before, it highlights vertically and horizontally. H here, it's highlighted vertically and horizontally. And so on, if I'm here, it's, it's, uh, the correspondence is F vertically and five horizontally for whatever we stand for. Here is example, here, and so on. So now I want to calculate the median for each department. Let me show you also something we said before that you can enlarge why should I make it uh, very narrow like this? I can enlarge it or widen it. So, uh, and also if I want to make the writing bold, I can bold it. And here also the months, if I want the months bold, I can bold it as well. 
and I can increase in the size of the uh, font and choose the font which I want as well. So this is left up to me. Uh, so this is the point. So let's go for how to calculate the median for each department because we said in the first calculate the median of each department. How will I calculate the median of each department? That's what we'll see now. I will do the first one, the production department. Here is the production. That's what I will calculate now for the, the median of the production department. Well, it's very easy. I will stop in the cell which I want to work on here. I just want to get the, the median here, the median here. That's fine. We'll go into the FX function. Then we'll choose the median. We have the median here already. Go always to the uh, statistical, a statistical, and you will find what you want because the median is in the statistical. You can get it from the letter M. This is another way. If you didn't find it in front of you on the recently used, you can get here. Here we go. Here is the median. Then I will give, okay. He's telling me now, you want the median, the, the range of the median from B4, this is B4, the cell B4, into J4, from B4 to J4. Yes, this is what I want the median from, from B4, from B4 to J4. Make it back. B4 to J4. Yes, from B4 to J4, that's true. Then I will tell him, okay. Then the median here for the production department is $200. Means the wage in the middle, the wage simply, the median means the wage, the middle wage, the middle wage, not that high and not that low, the one in the middle, okay? Like as example, you have four or five persons and their height, then you put them, arrange them in order from the shortest to the longest, then they are five. The third one is in the middle. The third one of them is in the middle. Okay. Then here now, we can do the same process for the marketing department and human resource department and financing and logistics. How we'll do that, I showed you before. We have the magic uh, part here where the cross will change into a tin cross. Then we'll drag and drop like this way. Then we will get the median of the marketing of the wage of the, the, the middle wage in the marketing department is about $240. And in the human resource, the wage in the middle is $220. And in financing, in financing, the middle is 240, and in the logistic, the middle is 300 dollars. So this is about the median of each department. Okay, this was required number one, the, me the median of each department. How about if I want to get the median of the wages in the whole factory? How if I want to get the median of the wages in the whole factory? Is that hard? No, it's not hard. It's very easy as well. It's very easy as well. Let us see, we'll go back to our spreadsheet. <coughs> so for the whole factory, you mean for all these series of numbers, you want the median for all the series of numbers. Okay. So I will um, remove uh, this. And I will stop here, make it an active cell, like go anywhere, then come back. And I will stop here and just go to the FX because this is the main functions process is from here. And okay, so we will go like this and ask for the median again. This is a statistical. We find the median in the statistical list. list. Okay, and go to the M letter, median. 
Here we go. Here is the median. Yes, I need the median. Now he gave me the dialog box. Look at this, a dialog box of the range. The range from B8 to J8. No, B8, this is B8 to J8 till here. So he only, because he didn't understand what I want, he thought I want the median for the last row. He thought I want the median of the last row. While I don't want the median of the last row only, I want the median from the first number till the last number. Actually, from the first number here till the last number here, I want the median for the whole series. So I want the median for the of the the middle average, the middle wage, the middle the median means the middle wage for the whole factory, for the whole factory. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Then I have to show him that I want the range. I need the range. I need to change the range then. Okay, okay. We'll go like this and show here the median and the range is from, I will put the number, the first number from B4, B4, two dots till the last number is J8. J8. Yes, this is what I want now. So I want it from B4. Something went wrong. No problem. B4, two dots, J8. Then I will call the bracket back. That's what I want now. B4 to J8. X, the median, okay, from B, no, from B4, we need it from B4 to G8. So I will do here, uh, B4 to J8. Okay, here we go. Then medium is calculated 230. The medium is calculated 230. That means that the uh, middle wage of the whole factory for all the departments are $230. So if you are going to be higher in this factory, then you might ask someone who's working there, what he will tell you in the production department, the end market, tell him, no, I just want one number to show me what is the middle wage in this factory. Then he will tell you the middle wage for the whole factory is $230. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you.